I asked 10,000 people to rank their favourite and least favourite Mario games. In this video, we'll be taking a look at what they picked. Which out of the 19 main series Mario games are the most and least popular? Well, let's find out. But first, I've got an announcement. The brand new TGD 16-bit t-shirt is now available on my official merch store at thomasmerchdots.com. You can get it in white or black, and every purchase supports the channel. Ok, on with the video. So, the first step was to create a survey for people to answer. But before that, what even counts as a main series Mario game? What should I include in the survey? Games like Super Mario Bros or Super Mario Odyssey are obviously Mario games. But what about games where it's not so easy to draw the line? Like the original Yoshi's Island, for instance. It was marketed as Super Mario World 2, but it doesn't feel like a Mario game. Then there's Super Mario Land 3, where you play as Wario, not Mario. I didn't include either game in my list. Finally, there's Mario Run for mobile phones. Now, on Nintendo's website, they do class Mario Run as a main series Mario game, and it is a platformer where you play as Mario. So fine, Mario Run makes it onto the list. And with my decisions made, I now had a final list of 19 Super Mario games. Now it was time to put together a survey for people to answer. So I opened up Google Forms and got to work. People could give each of the 19 games a rating from 1 to 5. I told people not to rate any games they haven't played so that the data doesn't get messed up. Plus, I asked people to write up to three words about each of the games on the list. That way we can find out why certain games were popular and others were not. And with that, the survey was done. All that was left was for me to post the link online. And with that out of the way, I waited for the responses to start coming in. So, a couple of months have gone by since then, and over 10,000 people have filled out my survey. A huge thank you to every single one of those people. So, I've downloaded all of the data and fiddled around with it to get a nice ranked list of every single Mario game, along with its average rating from 1 to 5. We're going to start at the bottom of the list and work our way up until we reach the most popular Mario game of all time. Let's a go! <laughs> Number 19. At the very bottom of the list is Super Mario Run, the first and only Super Mario game for mobile phones. With an average rating of 2.11, this is, according to my survey, the least popular Super Mario game of all time. And that's not a huge surprise, as Mario Run is totally different from every other Mario game. Rather than you, the player, controlling where Mario goes, in Mario Run, he runs through the levels by himself. All you can do is tap on the screen to make him jump. And it turns out, quite a lot of people didn't find that very engaging. Fun but repetitive, said one person. Forgettable, said someone else. And that's one thing Mario games really shouldn't be. Forgettable. Number 18. In 18th place is Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, known in Japan as Super Mario Bros. 2. The game received a score of 2.36, with some responses including very, very hard and terrible level design. Because Mario 2 focused more on challenging the player than letting them have fun. At every turn, the game attempts to trick you into falling to your death or getting killed. And it turns out that's not very fun. My favourite response about the game is this one. Should have stayed lost. Number 17. Next on the list is Super Mario Bros 2, the American version of the game. With a score of 2.96, the American Mario 2 is more popular than the Japanese one, at least according to the people who filled out my survey. I think the reason this game ranked so low on the list is because Mario 2 doesn't feel much like a Mario game at all. Even if players in the 1980s didn't know the full story of Doki Doki Panic being repurposed into Mario 2, they could almost certainly feel that something about the game felt a little bit off. That being said, Mario 2 is extremely creative, which is something I love about it, and it has impacted the Mario series more than I think Nintendo expected when they released it. But for some, the game remains nothing more than, quote, the weird sequel. Number 16. In 16th place is Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, with an average rating of 2.97. 
And this little Game Boy game marks a major milestone for Nintendo. It's the first portable entry in the Super Mario series. It's also brimming with creativity. The levels, enemies, power-ups, and even music are unlike any other Mario game. The only problem is Mario himself. He feels pretty clunky to control in Super Mario Land, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, and there's one more issue. The game is tiny. Like, you sometimes have to squint to see what's going on, especially if you're playing on a dim green Game Boy screen. One person described Super Mario Land as clunky but charming, which I think is pretty spot on. Number 15. Next up is New Super Mario Bros. 2, with an average score of 3.0. Now, this game is the fourth entry in the New Super Mario Bros. sub-series, and by 2012, the charm of these games had really started to wear thin. As the first Mario game I ever played, I do feel pretty nostalgic about New Super Mario Bros. 2, but I'm also not going to pretend it's some groundbreaking innovation. New Super Mario Bros. 2 is a perfectly fine Mario game. Two people described it as getting very old and overstayed its welcome, which I think is a little harsh, but ultimately rather accurate. Number 14. Next, we're straight into another New Super Mario Bros. game, with New Super Mario Bros. U. And with a rating of 3.24, everything I said about the last game applies to this one too. These games even came out during the same year. Uh, let's just move right on. Okay, number 13 is Super Mario Land 2. This is the sequel to Super Mario Land, the Game Boy game I mentioned earlier. And with an average rating of 3.27, people clearly think that this game was an improvement. With better looking graphics and a killer soundtrack by Kazumi Totaka, this game manages to retain the weirdness of the first Super Mario Land game, but it builds upon it to create a game that holds up so much better. At the end of the day, Mario just feels great to control in this game. And who can forget that Super Mario Land gave birth to a Mario icon, Wario? Creative and underrated, wrote one person, while somebody else claimed it was the best Game Boy game. Wow. Number 12. In 12th place is a little game called Super Mario Bros. That's right, the original Super Mario game. With a score of 3.43, Super Mario Bros. is a lot lower down on the list than I would have expected. Back in 1985, this game totally changed the face of gaming forever, and spawned countless copycats too. If it wasn't for Super Mario Bros, the rest of this list would be totally empty. But coming back to Super Mario Bros in 2022, I can understand why it wasn't given a higher rating. The Mario series has only become more creative, more polished, and more fun over the past 35 years, and playing Super Mario Bros now just reminds you of how much further the series has come. It seems that people were pretty divided in what they thought of the game. Classic but outdated still holds up didn't age well, and simple but fun. I think for me, simple but fun perfectly describes what Nintendo managed to achieve with Super Mario Bros. Number 11. Next up is Super Mario 3D Land, a game which tried to fuse 2D and 3D Mario games together. Surprisingly, this is the first 3D Mario game on the list. So far, it's all been 2D platformers. Now, 3D Land netted an average rating of 3.69, with responses like good 3DS game, underrated as hell, but also kind of forgettable. I remember really enjoying 3D Land when I first played it, but thinking back now, I don't really have anything particular to say about the game, so perhaps that means that it really is a little bit forgettable. But ultimately, 3D Land is a really fun game to play, and at the end of the day, that's exactly what you want from a Mario game. Number 10. All right, we're now down to the top 10. And in the 10th spot is New Super Mario Bros. Wii, with a score of 3.75. 
Now, New Super Mario Bros. Wii brought one key innovation to the Mario series, and that is multiplayer gaming. For the first time, multiple people could run around the same level together, and this one addition really brought the game alive. It's a hugely iconic part of the Wii era for many, and you can see that in the responses the game received. About half of them seem to say, fun with friends. Number 9. In ninth place is Super Mario Sunshine, with an average rating of 3.76. As the follow-up to the critically acclaimed Super Mario 64, Sunshine had a lot to live up to, and I think quite a few people would argue that it didn't quite pull that off. Featuring some of the most frustrating moments from any Mario game ever, Mario Sunshine has received a lot of negativity over the years. But I think in recent times, people have come back to Sunshine and realised that the game actually has a lot to love about it. For one, it is bursting with creativity, and the flood mechanic is just really fun to use. Fun but frustrating, says one response, while another says fun but flawed. And I think that says it all. If you're able to look past the game's weak spots, and there are quite a few, then you'll have a pretty fun time. Number 8. Next on the list is the original New Super Mario Bros for the DS. With an average score of 3.78, this is the most popular game from the New Super Mario Bros sub-series. And that's no surprise, as New Super Mario Bros marked the return of the 2D Mario game after a 13-year absence. Return to form, says one person. Best handheld Mario, says another. You see, it's easy to think of the new Super Mario Bros games as just recycled nostalgia for the retro Mario platformers of yesteryear. But that's not at all fair, especially when it comes to this first entry. New Super Mario Bros is a joy to play, bursting with brand new power-ups, gimmicks and enemies that have since become Mario staples. Number 7. In 7th place is Super Mario Bros 3, with a rating of 4.05. And honestly, I thought Mario 3 would rank higher on the list. For a lot of people, Mario 3 is their favourite 2D Mario platformer, and it's easy to see why. Compared to Mario 1 and 2, this game is a massive leap forwards. From iconic new enemies like the Angry Sun, to power-ups like the Tanuki Suit, Mario 3 is one of the most influential games in the series, and I think it's aged really well. Mario 1 and 2 feel like retro games if you go back and play them today, but Mario 3 just feels like a really great game. And considering it came out over 30 years ago, that's a really impressive feat. Best NES Mario, says one person. Timeless classic, says another. And I'm inclined to agree with both of those comments. My only critique? Mario is so slippery to control in this game, it feels like he's constantly running on ice. <laughs> Next up, number 6 is Super Mario 3D World, with a score of 4.21. I feel like this game has been enjoying a bit of a revival lately. When 3D World was first released on the Wii U, it was met with ambivalence more than anything else. People wanted another Mario Galaxy game, or something like Mario 64, and instead, Nintendo released this strange 3DS sequel. But Super Mario 3D World is a truly excellent game to play with friends. I mean, you might not be friends anymore after playing a couple of levels, but this game is brilliantly designed to bring out your inner competitive spirit. Best Wii U game, one person wrote. My personal favourite, says another. But the response that sums up the game for me the best is grew on me. Because I think for a lot of people, that's exactly what happened with 3D World. When it first came out, they weren't exactly won over by the game. But over the last few years, lots of people have given 3D World another chance and have found a really great Mario game to play. Number 5. Next up, in 5th place, is a real icon, Super Mario 64, with a score of 4.22. Now, you could talk about Mario 64 for hours on end, it was the game that brought Mario into 3D, and yet you wouldn't know that playing it, it feels effortless. I never stopped being amazed by the Mario series' practically flawless transition to 3D. While every other franchise was struggling to figure out how this third dimension even worked, 
Nintendo casually pumped out one of the greatest games of all time. Revolutionary, still holds up, masterpiece, groundbreaking. And while the game's camera system didn't really age well, the rest of it is still so much fun. If you're stuck for what game to play next, well, there's always Mario 64 to come back to for a guaranteed great time. Number 4 In fourth place is Super Mario World, with an average rating of 4.31. Now, Super Mario World marked the Mario series' transition to 16-bit gaming, and that meant better music, better art, and more buttons on the controller. This game is about as polished as the Mario series gets. Mario's controls here are just flawless, and every single detail is thought of, from the complex and interconnected world map to the surprisingly deep mechanics behind the cape power-up. So many iconic Mario levels can be found in this game, and it truly hasn't aged a day. But of course, there's one show-stopping addition to the Mario series found in this game. Yoshi. After keeping the idea of Yoshi in his head for years, Shigeru Miyamoto was finally able to bring Yoshi to the Mario series with this game, and the final product is just a joy to play. Best 2D Mario, Best 2D Mario, Peak 2D Mario, Best 2D Mario. People are absolutely in agreement that Super Mario World is the best 2D Mario game. And considering that the game ranks as the highest rated 2D Mario game on this list, I think we can truly say that, according to this survey, Super Mario World really is the best 2D Mario game of all time. Number 3 on the list is Super Mario Galaxy 2, with a rating of 4.36. The story goes that Nintendo had so many ideas that didn't make it into the first Mario Galaxy game that they ended up creating this sequel. But don't get me wrong, Mario Galaxy 2 is certainly not a collection of the first game's offcuts. This game is bursting with unique idea after unique idea. And with Yoshi added into the mix, Galaxy 2 is one of the strongest Mario offerings Nintendo has ever put together. Great sequel, says one response, while about half of the other replies just say the word Yoshi. Yoshi really did steal the show here, but don't let him distract you from the fact that Mario Galaxy 2 is a brilliant game all round. Next is the runner-up, number two on the list, and that is Super Mario Galaxy, with a rating of 4.49. Mario Galaxy is just amazing. Taking goofy old Mario and sticking him in space is one of those ideas that sounds ridiculous on paper, and yet it led to one of the greatest Mario games ever created, the second best according to this survey. With its stunning visuals and just really, really, really great soundtrack, it feels like Nintendo pulled out all the stops for this game. Mario Galaxy is dramatic and almost cinematic in a way that no other Mario games are, and yet it still feels like Mario. Every second the game is throwing some new, weird level idea or gimmick or power up at you, but it never feels disconnected at all. It all comes together to form a practically perfect game. Breathtaking, wrote one person, my childhood, timeless masterpiece, and last but not least, Mario in space. Because who knew that Mario in space would be this much fun? And finally, the best Mario game of all time is Super Mario Odyssey. With a rating of 4.64, it's well ahead of every other Mario game on the list. If I had to describe Mario Odyssey with only one word, it would probably be eclectic. This game is the strangest Mario game Nintendo have made in decades, and that's a great thing! Every time you turn a corner, you're face to face with something totally unexpected. During the game's reveal, the first thing we saw was Mario surrounded by realistic humans in a realistic city, and that really tells you everything you need to know about the game. You cannot predict what will come up next in Mario Odyssey, and that's what makes it the perfect Mario game. Because that sense of surprise, of wonder, of shock, it never goes away in Mario Odyssey. Even up until the game's final moments, Mario Odyssey is still surprising you with breathtaking and hilarious twists that just leave you laughing out loud. I don't think I've experienced a game that is just sheer delight and joy like Mario Odyssey. 
There have been Mario games that are more cinematic, more weird, more groundbreaking even, but I've never played a Mario game as delightful as Super Mario Odyssey. And looking through people's responses to the game, about one third of them say best 3D Mario and another third say best Mario game. I know that as the most recent Mario game, Odyssey is probably a little fresher in people's memories than some of the older games, and that no doubt has given it a bit of an advantage here. But when they created Super Mario Odyssey, Nintendo just threw everything they had at the player, and it's incredible. It's like eating this huge buffet of food from around the world. Every bite tastes totally different, and yet together the whole thing is even better than the sum of its parts. This game is a triumph for Nintendo. So you're free to have your own personal opinion about what the best Mario game is. It's certainly not an easy question to answer, and there aren't any wrong answers either. Every Mario game is good at worst and a masterpiece at best. But if you had to pick, well, I think Mario Odyssey would be a darn good answer. Hi, it's Thomas. Uh, I've literally just finished editing the video you just watched. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. I just wanted to remind you that you can get my brand new TGD t-shirt from my merch store at thomasmerchdocs.com. Uh, I designed it myself. I put a bunch of time and love and energy into it. So I do hope you enjoy it. And a huge thank you to everyone who filled out this survey. I'm really sorry it took a while to get this video together. Hopefully the result was worth it. And I will see you next week in my next video. Bye.